I'm Shashini and I represent Sri Lankans, the only Sri Lankan community newspaper that is distributed in New Zealand. Today, I will be speaking to Minon Vijayaratna as part of our hashtag Break the Bias video series in celebration of the International Women's Day 2022. Hi Minon, thank you for joining us today. Could you could you tell us a bit about yourself to kick things off? Hi Sashini and a very good morning to you. Um, I am uh, Minon Vijayaratna. Uh, I am a mother of two and 55 years of age and I've been here in New Zealand for 14 years uh, and I'm very happy to contribute uh, my life experiences kind of uh, to the topic relevant today. Well, thank you so much for introducing yourself. Maybe we can start things off with uh, you sharing a happy memory or an experience that you've had that is specifically linked to you being a woman. Um, in the past, uh, I have been a mum for uh, the past almost uh, 12 years. So um, prior to that, uh, my life in Sri Lanka was very, very involved in uh, uh, a career, uh, so to speak. And I was mostly in a career where it was um, um, a more male dominant because it was sales and marketing. My uh, my biggest achievement in that entire career was when I was working for uh, 3M, which is uh, also known as Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. And I was one of the people chosen to represent uh, 3M Sri Lanka um, in that particular year, uh, specifically 1997, to, um, to go uh, on a retreat and a program with uh, representatives from around the world to uh, the 3M facility in Minnesota. So that was a great achievement. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the trip because that's the year Asia crashed and they pulled the whole trip, uh, unfortunately. But it was for me a very big personal uh, achievement. As a woman, uh, most of my uh, peers and colleagues were male at the time and uh, it was a very competitive uh, industry and uh, and to be in sales and marketing at the time so uh, that is kind of a very happy memory for me. Well thank you for sharing your experience with us so I think that's a good segue into our next question. Could you tell us and uh, tell us about an instance where you felt excluded or discriminated against purely based on your gender, specific, uh, especially while you were working in this male-dominated field? Um, yes, uh, yes, I felt so most of the time. I felt so getting things done uh, wasn't that easy for me, as. Uh, as for my uh, my other colleagues, um, I always felt the need to fight for it and push it through because I don't know, maybe uh, the bias of uh, women not, I don't know, coming across as very seriously was uh, dominant in that industry. And I had to prove myself over and over again uh, in, in that particular field at the time. So uh, it was it was a very difficult time, uh, especially dealings and negotiations amongst uh, mostly not of the customers. I found that the customers are very receptive, uh, but uh, it was towards um, the network of a dealership and so on, which was which was not not easy at the time. Perhaps times have changed now, and we are talking about twenty years ago plus. So. Yeah, well, times have changed for the better, but there's still a lot more work to do, I suppose. Um, well, moving on, the general view is that um, this is a men versus women's issue. However, if we look closely, these uh, stereotypes and biases that have been ingrained in our societies for generations are also reinforced and either consciously or unconsciously by women. I'm guilty of it too. So um, can you think of an instance where you have been biased against another woman? Yes. Um, um, so in the past, uh, in my working career, since I was also in a male dominant kind of thing, I, I, uh, I probably was in more 
to say masculine shoes but when i became a mom uh, uh everything changed and uh, uh in an instance i was like uh, quick to judge a friend who had to um who had to give up her children and be somewhere else uh, or or find a career for herself and uh, at that point uh, the one thing that came to my mind is how could she leave them you know so uh, and then uh, maybe years down the line uh, i realized uh, that uh, it was not for me to judge that even though i was a mother and i felt that you know the kids needed uh, their mum uh but then uh but then i think she had to do what she had to do for herself and perhaps for the children as well so uh and i regret uh being biased about that or judging and thinking why would she why would she go or why 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 she made that decision so um so sometimes as women i think uh sometimes what happens is we are our worst you know we are not very supportive of each other sometimes which i hope that in the future uh that that would change i think we as women have to support each other and that's how we will progress yes that is that is so true um yeah well lastly in your opinion what can we as individuals do to make our communities free of gender stereotypes and discrimination and make it more inclusive for everyone um if you're talking in a woman's context i think uh, uh i mean if you're talking about a woman uh, in terms i think uh that they have to specifically carve a little time for themselves you know um which uh, here uh, in 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 new zealand society of women uh, especially talking about the sri lankans i see uh, the the women working really hard and taking the role of uh, mother uh, worker and uh, looking after the household and I, i often wonder how much time that they have for themselves in terms of just just time purely for themselves uh, i don't know whether that is what your um, aim is in uh, um, that's what your question was you know so uh, i just i just feel that women need to look after themselves basically as well you know and that in turn will bring them to a stronger point of being a good mother a, a good partner a wife and yes and an example to society as well you know yeah i i wholeheartedly agree with you i mean um it's it's the bias that we have against ourselves that we we think that we need to do everything uh, and we feel guilty when we take some time off for ourselves so as you mentioned we we shouldn't feel guilty about that and we should take some time for ourselves to improve ourselves and all so thank you minon for sharing your story with us and there's some valuable insights that we can all adopt uh, to be better individuals and contribute to a more inclusive community um so with that i would like to invite all of all of you to be part of this conversation and help raise awareness by sharing your stories of bias stereotypes and discrimination using the hashtag #breakthebias thank you so much <laughs>